Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome to the next episode of Smash or Pass. I've had a brilliant idea. I was sitting there the other night watching Game of Thrones. Now, if you haven't watched my channel before, I love Game of Thrones. I mean, it's boobs, it's dragons, and it's battles. What is not to love? Anyway, I was sitting there and I suddenly thought, smash or pass on Game of Thrones. And then I thought, well, who are you not going to smash in Thrones? They're all, you know, fantastically hot. But I thought, you know what, let's do it, because that can be the challenge. Let's try and find a woman on Game of Thrones that I pass on. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to Google Game of Thrones female cast members, bring their pictures up on my screen, stick them up on here, and we'll go through, and I'll let you know whether I would smash or pass. Uh, it's probably going to be a lot of smashing, but I'm hopeful that I can find at least one woman on Game of Thrones that I wouldn't smash. Right, okay, looking at my screen, there's hundreds of Khaleesi's coming up. Obviously, she's going to be the first one. Um, I'm not going to spend much time on this. Uh, if I was a farmer, I'd plough this field to daybreak. Honestly, she's super, super hot. Um, she's a queen, she's a Khaleesi, and she's an experienced dragon rider, which might serve her usefully if she's going to, you know, get with this. So, yeah, Khaleesi, smash, 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 super smash. Would probably pay to if I had to. Okay, moving on. Next image I found is Khaleesi's little helper. I think her name's Melisindra. Well, she will tell me. Masendi or something. You know who she is. Well, I'd smash her. I'd definitely smash her. Um, she's actually only been with um, Grey Worm, who is one of the Unsullied. I don't know whether how well you guys know the plot, but he's gelded. He hasn't got a proper penis. So imagining they would have done a lot of kind of scissoring action. So for her, it might be pleasurable for, you know, actual kind of penetrative smashing uh, so there's something for both of us there yeah definitely smash okay next image that i'm finding is cersei um yeah she's not very nice on the show she's had boom boom with her brother uh but that doesn't put me off to be honest with you it shows that her standards are low i might have a chance uh if it was up to me i'd smash cersei marjorie tyrell marjorie sweet marjorie again smash 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 there's no thought in my mind about passing on that why would you and as well as being exceptionally attractive uh hence my smash smash smashing she would also offer kind of alliance chances uh previously she'd be married to renly who was gay uh she'd be married married to joffrey who was a twat uh, I think she was married to Tommin as well, um, who was just a kid. So she hasn't had her maiden head taken yet. Uh, she'd probably be quite grateful to get with the King of the North and actually get down to some smashing action. And I could build some powerful alliances with her family. Uh, yeah, it's a no-brainer. I'd smash her. Okay, I found one that's a little bit more testing. It's Asha, which is Theon Greyjoy's sister. Um, however, even being a little bit more testing, it is still a smash for me all day long. Uh, she's not bad looking. Uh, she lives on a little island. I used to live on the Isle of Wight, so we've got stuff in common. Um, and also, she likes the ladies too. Uh, so there could be kind of opportunities for a menange toi, which is something I'd love to try. Uh, yeah, smash. Okay, next up, the sand snakes. I did think about doing these individually, but it's going to be the same answer for all of them, isn't it? The sand snakes, if you don't know, are the ladies from Dawn. Uh, for me, it's going to be a smash, it's gonna be a smash, it's gonna be a smash, it's gonna be a smash, uh, and I'll count myself grateful to be doing that, to be honest with you. Yeah, smash. Maybe slightly more testing is Gilly. Um, she is a wildling from beyond the wall, who's now, you know, in normal Westeros. Uh, she's got a kid, which would put me off slightly in real life, um, but I'm gonna smash her. I'm gonna smash her, Gilly. Yeah, she's still way pretty enough for me to go for. And she's been with Samuel Tarly, who's quite fat. Um, I'm quite rotund after my Christmas hibernation. Uh, so again, it speaks kind of positively as to my chances. Yeah, Gilly should get it. The Red Woman, the Red Priestess. Now, she's done some pretty weird stuff, hasn't she? We've seen her take off a little amulet and she's actually about 300 all withered and yeah. um, she's also birthed a weird dark shadow from a weird little snatch and it came forth and killed Stannis and she killed, well, she made Stannis kill his kid and stuff, but she's fit, so yeah, I'd still smash her. Usha, Usha, the wildling girl who helped Bran and his brother recon and stuff. Um, it's probably the most testing one of all so far, but again, for me, it would be a smash and a solid smash. I'm trying my hardest to, you know, pick fault and stuff, but little Callum's running the show and it's been weeks and weeks and weeks since I had anything and yeah, smash. Shay, Shay, she was Tyrion's little 
kind of prostitute woman. Um, obviously, you're looking at her, and I'm going to smash that. Uh, again, it's a positive thing. I mean, if she was satisfied with a little Tyrion, I mean, imagine what she's going to think when she goes with that. Not just a fully sized bloke, but somebody who's six foot four. And, you know, she'd bloody love it. She'd be in heaven. So, yeah, smash, smash, smash. And I think she might enjoy it. I'm really struggling here to find anyone that I wouldn't smash. Uh, next up, we're going to bring Ygritte. Um, Yigrid, I don't know how you pronounce her name. She's the redhead one who Jon Snow did some wilding with when he was on the other side of the wall. Um, now, this is a testing one for me again because obviously I'm a normal person and ginger hair makes me feel a little bit icky. However, there's something wrong about the situation, isn't there? You know, she's quite an attractive woman despite the ginger hair. And I guess you'd be thinking, oh God, she's ginger, but I'm still kind of liking it. It's a little bit wrong and twisted and slightly sordid. Uh, so I'd smash her, I'm gonna be honest, I'd smash it. I'd probably feel weird about it afterwards, but that might even make me enjoy it more. So yeah, smash. Brianne. Brianna Tarth, now we're talking. This is the most difficult one yet. I mean, she's made to look quite unattractive on the show, all kind of goggle-eyed, eyes facing in different directions and stuff. And looks quite big and sweaty and kind of strong and stuff. And for that reason, you're thinking, oh, no, I don't know whether I fancy any of that. But that could be quite alluring, you know, her strength and kind of dominatingness, you know. I'm not saying, I mean, I'd quite enjoy, I think, being overpowered by a woman. I'm not saying, you know, like I want to be raped or anything. It would have to be a woman who I wanted to have boom boom with. But the thought of a woman being able to overpower me and just have her way with me, it's, it's quite an exciting thought. I guess because, you know, I'm six foot five, alpha male, big guy. No woman's ever come close to overpowering me. And it's difficult to imagine it ever happening. But Brianna Tarth maybe could, you know, you'd be sitting there and suddenly she pinned you down before you know what's happening. She's popped you in and, you know, she's doing it and suddenly it's... Oh, it just happened suddenly, wouldn't it? You know, you know, just shocked and surprised and feel a little bit kind of, ooh, that was weird. Uh, so I think, yeah, I would. I would smash Brianna Tarth. Uh, that was probably my best hope, wasn't it? Finding one that I wouldn't smash. Okay, back to the drawing board. Look at a few more pictures. There's got to be one. There's got to be someone on Game of Thrones that I wouldn't smash. Catelyn Stark. Uh, she's a bit older. Um, but I mean, look. You would, wouldn't you? She's a, she's a Stark, she's a woman of the North, she knows what she's doing, she's fierce, uh, she's not unattractive. I would smash Catelyn Stark. I found a female Game of Thrones member that I would not smash. This could be the perfect one to end on. It is... Ba -ba -da -ba. Olena Tyrell, the Queen of Thorns, the grandmother from the Tyrell family, this little wise and old prune here. I don't think I would smash her. I mean, granted, she has a lot covered up, so you can't tell whether she's tidy under those robes or not. But you'd have to imagine, given her face and the fact she looks about 100, that she probably isn't down there. And I'm just going on what I can see. And judging by that face, not un unattractive for like a 100-year-old woman, but I just don't find 100-year-old women attractive. So... A pass, and we've done it. We've found a female on Game of Thrones that I wouldn't smash. That is the best place to end this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I've done a few smash or passes now. It might be time to stop doing them. If you did enjoy it, leave a like and let me know kind of what theme you want for the next one.